Hey everybody, Paul Angelo here. Welcome to this amazing video about gay sexuality. Another video that's going to help you understand sexuality in a brand new way. After coaching now for eight years and after having a lot of experience in personal relationships, I have come to a really extraordinary conclusion. And the conclusion is that the ideas that make relationships possible are usually counterintuitive and they usually go against what most people do. So we have things that are super popular and usually those things are not what creates successful relationships. And this can be applied to relationships, this can be applied to intimacy, this can be applied to marriage, to all kinds of areas of relationships. And today we're gonna explore the idea that when sex is bad, that it's something catastrophic or that it's something really bad versus in reality, based on everything I've seen so far in my relationships, in having a lot of sex with a lot of men, is that when sex is bad, it actually means you are with the right person. To understand this, it takes us, we, it takes us to go into a deeper understanding of the psychology behind sexuality, the, the parts of the puzzle that are initiated when we search for sex. So let's start with what attraction template is. And the fastest way to understand it is to look at the man that you're attracted to when they are fully clothed. So if you were to go for a walk or go to a coffee shop or go to a bookstore and start noticing the man that you're really attracted to, do you have a specific template? Do you have a specific type that arouses you? That when you look at the man, you feel like you want to touch him you want to get to know him, you want to be with him. And that is your attraction template. For me, for example, when I go to coffee shops and I look at men that are brunettes with dark eyes or black or brown eyes, hairy bodies, dark hair, beefy kind of body type, that is my attraction template and I get immediately aroused. So that's step number one. Then we go into the step number two, which is the actual sexual mechanics when you are naked with this person. So this is the same person that originally you felt real attraction to because of your attraction template, but now he's no longer clothed, he is naked with you. And in a situation like this, when people say sex is bad or sexual mechanics is not clicking or is not matching, it simply means the following. It's not that you can't make sex work with this person. It's that for both people, or for one of the two people, there is a script being played out in the back, in the unconscious of the person's mind that seeks a certain specific mechanical behavior as opposed to being present to what is. And the arousal is, is dependent on the validation of that script. And so this is why I say that the best relationships are usually relationships when uh, when this kind of validation doesn't take place. Because if it doesn't take place, it means we are forced to surrender our script. And if I were to give you an example from my life, Frank and I, uh, our template is amazing, but our attraction template matches, but our sexual mechanical template does not match. And so I've learned this from my own experience that with the man that you are initially not sexually, what you would say, compatible, these are actually good relationships because the script is no longer, you don't give the permission to the script to play itself out. And for the first time you are truly awakened to be present to this person's naked body in front of you. And that's where the real sexuality begins. A lot of people assume that sexuality is when, when you have an arousal and you just act that arousal out. You know, that's like high school level sexuality. Anybody can do this. It's the lazy man's sexuality when you have a hard on because something happens and you act it out, you have an orgasm and you then walk away or he walks away. And for people, for most people, this is how sexuality works. And when those scripts are playing out, we don't really care for the person in front of us. We don't really, we don't really want this person to feel any kind of safety, any kind of concern, any kind of passion or authentic real closeness because it's our ego. It's the script that has taken over our sexual impulses and 
If they are not satisfied or validated right up front, we lose the erection, we don't want to continue, and then we say sex is bad. But the sex is not bad. The person is still there. The person that originally you were attracted to when you saw them naked, when you saw them fully clothed, he's still there, naked. He may have lost erection, you may have lost erection too, but that does not mean that there's nothing you can do. In those situations is where the real work begins, where the real test of your sexual um, competency comes in. Because in those situations, that's when you need to surrender yourself to your sense of being. And out of that sense of being, the sexual activation comes forth in a way that does not match your script, but is truly authentic and probably authentic for the first time in your life. And when that happens, that's when that closeness, when that true intimacy begins, because it's something that both partner will feel and they will notice this is not the script anymore. And that sensation that this is not the script anymore brings two people closer in such a way that cannot be replicated when the script takes over. There's some magic, there's some depth that opens up from the sense of being in the space of nakedness, in the space of total expose of the even the discomfort from lack of arousal that then later, once you cross to the other side, reproduces that arousal. But a little bit later, there's a delay about five to 10 minutes. But what most people do, most people just feel uncomfortable. They uh, wanna walk away and they call it a bad sexual experience. And it's not a bad experience, it's just an opportunity, opportunity for installation of a fresh, healthier, new script that is built from the sense of purity, a sense of being, a sense of nothingness, where it's not your ego that's taking over your sexual impulses and your genitalia and your expectations, but it's your sense of beingness and the concern for the other person's beingness. And if you stay in that space for some time naked and you look at the other person, even without saying anything, just rubbing each other's bodies and touching and paying a compliment, all of a sudden, the real sexual energy becomes alive. And that's, my friends, what I call the real, authentic sexual experience. And when you can create that, it means you have elevated yourself to a certain level of authenticity and connection and intimacy that um, just makes you feel so alive, makes you feel so connected, unlike anything else you've ever experienced because it's the space outside of the script. It's the space outside of the expectation. It's uh, like taking a journey to the moon, going somewhere you've never been before, naked with another person, and not necessitating the erection, not necessitating the orgasm, just being there naked, looking into each other's eyes, purging or, or going through the discomfort, and then waking up the new sexual energies the new sexual, maybe we can call it a script, but that script is connected to your sense of being, not the ego, not the social conditioning, not the, um, the, the seeking validation, but it's the authentic, pure sexual energy coming forth. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. For more videos like these, please visit my website at paulangelo.com or check out the Big Gay Family social program if you want to meet men immediately without rejection, judgments, and negativity. And to do that, visit the website biggayfamily.com. So thanks for watching. Until we talk in the next video, as always, my friends, go out there, think big, stay present, be a leader in your life today. Signing off, talk to you soon.